Hello and welcome to the second part in my series about how to create better text in Serif Draw Plus. In this final video I'm going to show you a few more techniques to try. In this first example I want to show you how to achieve a multiple outline effect. The brief is to create a poster for a nightclub. I'm going to start by typing the word disco and choosing a suitable font. This one looks kind of disco-y. I'll give the text a bit of colour and apply an outline. You'll need to pay close attention to this next part as this is where it starts to get a bit more complicated. From the Layers tab, you'll notice that I've been working on Layer 2, which is a separate layer to the one that contains the black background. What I'm going to do next is create a new layer by right-clicking on Layer 2 and selecting Add New Layer. Layer 3 is now created. Drag and move Layer 3 so that it's below Layer 2. The reason for this is that we want Layer 2 to be on top of 3 and consequently always visible in the design even when we start drawing on layer 3. You'll see why this is important shortly. With layer 2 selected, copy the text and paste it onto layer 3. With the text still highlighted, change the colour of the outline and increase its thickness. You can see that the green stroke has now emerged from the back. Repeat the previous steps as many times as you like until you achieve a result that you're satisfied with. So once again, add a new layer, position it below the previous one, and copy the contents of the previous layer across to the new one. It's then simply a case of changing the colour of the line and adjusting its thickness. And there you have it, retro disco text, ideal for a nightclub poster. For this next tip, I'd like to show you how to start manipulating text with DrawPlus's envelope and node tools. I want to design a logo for a made-up brand, Charles and Gale. I'm going to start by laying down the text and choosing a suitable font. This autumn font is great for logos. To add interest to the design, I'm going to choose the envelope tool. There are lots of preset envelopes on offer, which can be used to warp text into different styles. If you're not happy with the styles, you can simply remove an envelope and manipulate the text as you desire. By manipulating and combining text, you can easily go from this to something like this in just a few minutes. I want to tweak the look of the logo further, and one way to do this is to convert the text to curves so that the letters are individually editable. With the text selected, I'm going up to Tools on the main toolbar and selecting Convert to Curves. Each character is now selectable and can be moved around the canvas and reshaped, as I'm doing here by stretching the C. Let me quickly just resize the other text to accommodate the change. You can see that the G and A of Gale aren't connected together. This is easily fixed by converting the text to curves and using the Node tool to adjust the path of the lines. You can use the Node tool to customise the look of text as much as you like. So there you have it, a completed logo using the envelope and Node tools to manipulate and customise text. Before I sign off, I'm going to leave you with one last tip for customising the appearance of text. 
Using the freehand knife tool, I'm going to cut this text into sections to create the appearance of shattered glass. I'm using the tool to cut across a particular section of text. With the pointer tool, you can then reposition sections as you see fit. Repeat the effect until you've created something you're happy with. I've added a reflection for additional impact. So sadly, that brings an end to this series on using DrawPlus to create better typography. With these tips at your disposal, you don't have to be a professional illustrator to use great looking text in your designs. If there's an effect you think I've missed, get in touch and let me know. Cheers now, and many thanks for watching.